Yep, I'm jumping on the bandwagon. So here's my whiskey haul for this fall so far. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Bourbon Hutch. And thanks so much for joining me on this journey through the world of whiskey. So as you might have noticed, there are plenty of different whiskey tube channels and personalities who do some variation of this video that I'm about to do. So 100% this is not my idea. I am stealing this from other people for sure. I have seen Whiskey Row do a lot of these. Bourbon Kingdom, a channel I really like. Love watching their whiskey hauls and whiskey grabs, I think they call them. So again, not my idea at all. Matt over at ADHD Whiskey, he talked about how he kind of stole this idea and started doing it too. So I figured what the heck, I'd jump on the trend. Plus, I've got some cool bottles that I've picked up lately that I'm excited to share with you guys, review eventually, some that you've even recommended, which is really, really awesome. So just wanted to throw my hat in the ring and do my own version of a whiskey haul. So for this video, I am going to set the parameter of just doing anything I've gotten since the very first day of fall, which is technically September 22nd, about the time of this filming, that'll be right around the month. So that's good. We're going to cover that period, except the one bottle that I am not doing that with is the very last bottle, which is a pretty special one and just wanted to share that with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the list. So the first two whiskeys on this list actually are bourbons and I've already put them on the channel multiple times because I think these are a great release every year and I love them. And that's going to be the Maker's Mark Wood Finishing Series. So BRT01 and 02, oh, this is 01, so 01 and 02 here, these are Really, really good whiskeys. I think this BRT-02 is really phenomenal. Not gonna say too much more about them because I did do a review and a blind battle with them, so I'll link to those up there. All right, now we're getting into some stuff that hasn't necessarily been featured on the channel or things I've just picked up lately that I'm glad to have back on the shelves. So first for that list is gonna be a Weller Special Reserve. So this is just a staple sort of 23 to $25 bottle for a lot of people. Nice weeded bourbon from Buffalo Trace, of course. I live close to Ohio, which makes this actually pretty easy to find. So every once in a while, I just sort of venture on over and pick one up to make sure I have one on my shelves and a backup usually. So that's pretty much the story here with this Weller Special Reserve. I just like to have a backup, I like to have one on hand, especially because I like to give these as gifts to people who don't have as easy access to it. So always good to have a couple uh, on hand at all times. Next on the list is gonna be a New Riff Six Year Malted Rye. So this is a product from New Riff Distillery, which I only have one other thing from them, a single barrel bourbon that is really, really good store pick. So heard great things about this malted rye, saw one on the shelves for a good price, decided I would pull the trigger and get it, and really excited to open this one up and try it and review it for you guys on the channel. All right, let's stay on the rye train while we're on it with the next bottle this Redwood Empire Emerald Giant. So I have the Lost Monarch, which is their Burai, which I love. I think it's so, so good, especially for like 35 to 40 bucks. Saw this one, picked it up. have heard great things about this rye as well. I think it's one of their higher rated products just across the board. So really, really excited to dive in here. Also, I mean, just always beautiful presentation from Redwood Empire. So got to appreciate that and the way it looks on the shelf. The next bottle brings us back to the world of bourbon. And that is a Heaven Hill seven year bottled in bond. So this is a product that's somewhat hard to find around me for sure. So as soon as I saw one available for right around 50 bucks, which is pretty good for this, was happy to pick it up. Really excited to crack this one open and try it too. So there used to be a uh, six year version of this that got discontinued. They upped the price considerably and put one more year on there. So that ruffled a lot of feathers, but by all accounts, this is a very solid bourbon and one that's harder to find, so was happy to pick one up. All right, the next bottle I'm really excited to share. Actually went out and picked this one up today because it is by far the number one most often recommended thing on the channel, mostly because I stick to the bourbon world and people want me to branch out and I wanna branch out too and I wanna find great things and that's gonna be Redbreast 12. So from all that I've heard from you guys across the channel and just watching other reviews and stuff, this is pretty much a classic Irish whiskey. I've had Jameson, had a bottle of it, and just 
really didn't love it. So looking forward to this, and I know that a lot of people have recommended it and said that I particularly will like it. Heard that there's a lot of good like fruit and strawberry notes on it. So excited to dive into this one and review it for you guys and let you know if I think your recommendation is, is on point. All right, had to shift things around here a little bit, was getting a little crowded on the table. So now we're gonna talk about uh, the last two bottles. So the second to last bottle is one that I actually did a little bit extra work to go get, stood in line for a bit. It's one of those classic bottles. Everybody wants one, um, but I've heard it's a little bit overhyped, of course, but that's okay. Once I saw one, I had to pick it up. And that's gonna be Blanton Single Barrel. So obviously one of the more beautiful, picturesque kind of bottles out there, just in terms of look and prestige and just a really nice bottle to be able to have on hand. Super excited to get this. I'm going to open it and review it on the channel. Don't you worry. And we'll see, you know, I've heard so many things, never tasted Blanton's before. So excited to see what the hype slash where I'll fall on the spectrum is in terms of loving it or thinking it's probably just okay. We'll see. We'll see how good Blanton's is in the very near future. All right, now we're on to the last, the final bottle in this list. This is the one that I did get a little bit before fall started actually, so it doesn't fall within the strict rules of this video, but hey, I got it down at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival and had such a great experience there. I'm gonna do a video real soon about my experience and what I think are the best features of the Kentucky Bourbon Festival, but was able to pick up this bottle and it's pretty special to me. So it is Bardstown Discovery Series number eight it's actually signed by master distiller Steve Nally, who was there uh, on the site, got to just sort of talk to him. This was one of, if not the best thing I tasted all day at the Bourbon Festival. So it really stood out, spent, what, 140, 150 bucks, somewhere around there on it. But to have Steve Nally right in front of you, to have him sign it and just, you know, tell him, look, this is one of the best things I tasted today. That was a really cool experience. All right, everybody, that is my haul from this fall so far. I think it's a good mix of different bourbons, ryes, whiskeys, got the red breast. Gonna hopefully expand my palate in the international realm as well too. So really excited to have each of these. Did wanna ask if you guys wanna see a review of any of these on the channel, wondering what they taste like or whether or not you should be out there hunting them, trying to get them, please let me know in the comments below and I'll get a review up as soon as I can. The other aspect to think about is we've talked about doing a really fun giveaway if we do get to a thousand subscribers by the end of 2022. That's the goal now, looks like it's within reach. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do. But some of these could certainly go in the giveaway. Let me know if you think any of them fit uh, or you would be excited to get your hands on from the giveaway. Until I see you guys again for another video, all I can say is keep drinking and collecting really good whiskey and cheers.